All right. So yesterday we uh, talked about actual weighing an aircraft and doing the initial setup for the weight and balance books and stuff. Today we're going to talk about when we actually do maintenance on the aircraft and what type of maintenance documentation and how we do the maintenance documentation in the log books or the weight and balance book. All right, so whenever equipment is changed, such as installing something new, uh, it's going to change the weight of the aircraft. It can make it heavier, it can make it smaller. So we gotta be able to be, remove the old items if the ha old items have to come off and then install the new ones. Or in some cases, we're just putting something new on the aircraft. So when we do all that, it's going to alter and change the CG of that aircraft. So we gotta get the books up up to speed so when they load it, they know what the center of gravity is and make sure they don't take it out of it. So basically, we're gonna do the same thing we did yesterday, but now our items are going to be like radios and stuff like that. So anytime we add something to the aircraft, it's going to be a positive weight. And then anytime we remove something, it's going to be a negative. Make sense? Okay. So basically our equipment here, here's an example of our calculations. And they're gonna give you a scenario over here. It's gonna tell you what the empty weight of the aircraft is, the empty airplane's empty weight CG. It tells you where the datum is, so it gives you an idea of uh, whether these arms are gonna be negative or positive. Remember, you still gotta keep your arms either the negative or positive, because if you don't do that, it's going to mess up your calculations. So the first line in here for your item, we're gonna put empty weight CG. Now, technically in your weight and balance books, this will already be there. But for our practical purposes, you're gonna be working on a blank chart. So make your first line the empty weight, and all you have to do is put your numbers in here. And if you guys can tell me, how do I get the moment? All right, multiply the weight times the arm, and that will give us our, our moment. So this is the whole line that we need for the empty weight. Now everything's going to be based off of this line. So it says right here, I'm installing a radio. So I just put item radio install. So I, I, I do that so we know that I'm actually installing it. And it weighs five pounds. Since I'm putting it in, it's a positive five. Then it gives you the arm, which is a negative 28. And of course, get the moment, take it across. And you do that with each one of these. And then here, the, the strobe said they removed it. So if I removed the strobe down here, it was 1.4 pounds. So you make sure you put in a negative 1.4 and then the station number, whatever it is, and then do the multiplication. Okay. Pretty, it's really, alterations is one of the simplest things we got to do. And then to find out our new CG, all we have to do is add up our weight column, add up our moment column, and then to get the new empty weight CG, you divide the moment by the weight, and that will give you guys your new empty weight CG. And believe it or not, that's all you guys have to do for the day. Any questions on that? Yes. Yeah. What do you got? Can you just go over it again? All right. So basically, in a nutshell, the first thing you're going to do is you got your scenario over here, and you're going to have a blank chart. So first thing you want to do is on the first line, you want to put what the empty weight of the aircraft is. So in this case, it's 2,350 pounds. The CG, which is also known as the arm, is a positive 24.70. So if I multiply these two numbers together, it will give me my moment in inch pounds, which is 58,000 and 45 pounds. Everybody comfortable with that? Got it. 
All right, so then the next thing is they got, oh, I installed the radio. So the radio was 58 pounds and it's located at a negative 28 inches. So that would be actually in front of the datum since it's the negative number. So since I'm installing it, it is a positive 5.8 pounds. And then the arm is a negative 28 multiply these across and that will give me my moment. As you can see, a negative times a positive will give us a negative moment. It doesn't matter whether it's negative or positive, so don't get hooked up on that. Just make sure that we do the math properly because it will change the end result at the bottom. And then the next one is the radio installed. It is five point, oh, I already did that. Global positioning system installed. It is 7.3 pounds and it's at a negative 26 station number. So since we're installing it, it is a positive 7.3 and located at a negative 26. Multiply that across, that'll give us a negative 1.89.8. So the next one will be an emergency locator transmitter installed. It's 2.8 pounds since we're installing it. It's a positive and it's located at a positive 105. So we write those numbers in. So then a positive 2.8 times a positive 105 will give us 294. And it says I am doing a strobe light removal. Right, since I'm removing it, it weighs 1.4 pounds, I'm removing it, so that becomes a negative 1.4. So I'm taking it off, so I got negative 1.4 times station 75, because that's where it's located, gives us a negative 105. Then our ADF is being removed, it weighs three pounds, so that'd be a negative three pounds. And it's located at negative 28. So negative thir three times a negative 28 gives us a positive 84. And then the last one is they removed a seat. So that's a negative 34 pounds located at station 60. We multiply that across and that gives me a negative 2040. So now that we have all that, all we have to do is add up our two columns. So we add up the weight and that's going to give us 2,327.5. And then we add up the moment, which is 55,928.8. Then all we have to do is divide the moment by the weight, and that will give us our new empty weight CG, which is 24.03 inches. Awesome, thank you. All right. And that should be it. Now, I'm going to give you guys some of, some interesting things. It's, it's the applied thing, like there's one that says they installed a new pilot and co-pilot seat. So if you have to think about it, if I'm installing a new seat, you will have to go in and remove the old seat if they're not the same weight. And if it doesn't give you a location of the pilot seat, you can find it in the weight and balance book. That's on one of the labs, I know they do that. So sometimes they will imply that you, you know, if it, if it, the, the pilot seat's always installed. So if I put a new one in, that means the old one has to come out. So if you guys get stuck on something like that, let me know. Anybody else have anything? Okay. I'll be in the chat room then if you guys are. Is that one with the pilot seat, is that in our current lab? Uh, it's in one of the labs. I don't know which one it's going to be in. It's probably the one that's coming up that you need to do going to actually give you a weight and balance book. It's going to give you a another book where everything the where the list where everything is located at. In the two. Yeah, I think that's it. 
Yep. This was an easy lecture. <laughs> Can you pull up the uh, worksheet chart that we're supposed to do and just go over the, the first line that we're supposed to fill out? 